Yemi's kitchen where we cook all African food, African menu, African cuisine with all American ingredients since we're here in the United States. Today I'm quickly going to show you how I make my abacha with uba. Uh, abacha and uba is a evil recipe. It's called Nigerian or African salad. The basic part of it is like, you know, is the cassava, which is the abacha. And that's the uba, the brown one is the uba. Which I bought from the African food store. So that's what you're going to need for the, you're going to need potash, which is, I was trying to melt it, but I couldn't melt it, so I grounded it in water here, you're going to use that with the oil. So with the things you're going to need, you're going to need your Cameroonian pepper, which is optional, I put a spoon of Cameroonian pepper, a huru, which is the uh, pepper soup condiment, I'm going to pound in it, my, let's say, a teaspoon of uh, chicken season seasoning and this is my crayfish powder here I have chopped my komo, my goat meat and my manla or stockfish which I'm going to use to make the sauce you're going to need palm oil and a little bit of salt so they used they use utazi leaf for the garnishing I don't have that so I'm going to be using scallions which is even more beautiful and you're going to need onions to garnish it and to cook it. And these are my, this is my onion that I've chopped to use, to use for it. So let's go. So I'm soaking the abasha, the cassava strings in hot water for a minute before I rinse it out, before we start our ubana abasha salad. Okay. This is the abasha. I have blanched it in cold water, so it's already drained, and I'm ready to make uh, the sauce. So you have your red oil, which is a palm oil, I have my potash water, Sorry. it's grounded, I'm ready. So we're going to do the whisking effect. You see as it changes color, that is the effect of the potash science, huh? So let's start putting our stuff for the abasha and the ba salad, okay? Now first put the ehuru, which has been toasted and blended. This is the crayfish. Cameroonian pepper, I like it hot, and that's my way of infusing heat. This is my chicken seasoning. I'm not going to put salt on it when I taste. Tastes good. I don't think I need salt. Okay, you can see that I transferred the abacha into my small pot, and I'm going to put the uba. Going to transfer that here. This is my wet pepper, my onion, this is based on how much. A batch and uba you have. There's some onion in that. And I think that's about it. This is done. So don't let anybody make you feel as if you can't do it. You can do this. Anything you put your mind into is doable. It's just a process. This is just like your American dressing. Put it on it. I'm going to pour everything because I don't like it soupy. You fold it in. There goes your abacha and uba. Abacha is a Igbo delicacy. It's an Igbo salad 
if you go to Nigeria market, go to Sergio show, you see the women selling it. It's supposed to be something for the farmers, but they came very elegant and it's expensive in the city. This is so rich. Okay, I'm going to leave the liquid for people who want it to be sweepy. Okay. It looks so good. So the abacha is finished and I'm going to plate it. I, I show you my momo and my uh, stockfish. I don't like putting mine in the abacha. I've already sauced it. You see, I put some fish in it and I have my momo and my okoroko in it already so that I'm going to plate it on the side with my vegetable. Okay, let's go, let's go to the table and I'll show you how I plate it and enjoy it. To present my African roots very nicely, I have served it in in a plate, white plate with my scallion on it and onions to garnish and some uba on it since I don't have the tazi leaf. Okay, I have served it on this side with the abacha sauce just in case some people like it soupy. It's a tasty sauce anyway. When we eat salad in America, we have the salad cream and salad um, cream for it. So this is my salad cream and I'll serve it here just for the people, small portions for children or anybody who wants to eat it. But it's actually a, a pleasure doing this and thank you for staying with me. It's healthy and it's something that you it's want my to eat. Yummy, jum, jum, jum. It's hungry, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, me has bring back the abacha anuba. See the way I've served it, thank you for staying with me. I've served it with the abacha sauce, the uba sauce on the side if you like it. I don't know how you like it served, but I've served it three ways. And tell me, write me and tell me how you serve, serve yours. It came out good. Thank you for staying with me. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and our website, Yemi's Kitchen, www.yemi's Kitchen. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my other videos. Just want to tell you that I love you so much. Stay true to yourself. Be authentic. Be fearless. Go and start something. You know, whatever you put your heart into, you must surely, surely, surely be successful at it. Okay? Peace out. Love you. Mwah.